Okay, so what I'm going to show here is adding a heater and blower kit to a Spectra 4 back box that originally did not come with one. For the purposes here, I removed one from a, a DF5 fixed dome. It has this kind of bracket here, the blower sits on the back, and you have the little air duct with the heaters. It comes here and just blows towards the camera. This here is a, um, a repurposed PCB from a outdoor housing that they put on there. Uh, really doesn't serve much purpose than as a terminal block. So you can go ahead and remove these parts here. This, you don't need it. Again, that's if you're taking it off a DF5. If you're taking it off a Spectra Dome, you will be left with these. You can mix and match from the Spectra 3. It's exactly the same part. And what you're going to be left with is parts over here. This is the air duct. In here, you have these uh, big resistors, which act as the heating elements. This is the little blower, blows into here, the heaters come on when the thermostat calls for it, and the air is blown out here towards the uh, dome drive. This here is a little control circuit. Now um, I'll show you the connections here. Okay, so this is going to be power to the unit. Since I removed this from a DF5, I don't have the other end of the connector, so I'm going to have to put on a connector or we can solder right into the board and that's going to go into power P1 power and the heater control this guy here is going to go into P3 heater and then the blower into blower so you can see it's uh, relatively simple now the part that's a bit more tricky is getting it into this thing over here um, you're gonna need to have saved the one little screw which goes in the side so first we're gonna have to put in the blower and you can see that guy just fits on top of these two posts here now I'm not sure if these uh, posts are, are heated and melted down uh, I can't remember, I think they just kind of sit on there. But if they are, you may have to cut them off with a razor. Then we're going to feed the wire through this little notch on the side. Get some more light here. Okay. Uh, the PCB itself, it kind of... It's a little weird how it fits, I can't remember. Okay, so the PCB, the little round corner, you're going to line up with the round corner of the door assembly here. Careful not to bust these pins. It has to sit just outside that post. And clip it in. And there we go. So that fits nice and snug into there. This guy here, like I said, there's no connector on it. I'm going to have to see if I have one in my spare parts pile. Um, that would go into heater 1, not 24 volt, but up here. Uh, worst case, you can probably just unstick that with a soldering iron and put this guy in there directly. Then, for the air duct, what you want to do is line this up like that. And be careful not to break the little hooks on here, because they hook right into there. So, put the wire through the little wire feed and get this in frame. Okay, there we go. So you gotta kind of first slip on this part and then slip it over the blower and you wanna make sure that it sits flush um, and the blower nozzle is inside the plastic thing. If it's sitting over, this guy's gonna be pushed forward like that and it's gonna be rubbing against your uh, dome liner and it's gonna fuck it up. And then, of course, you wanna put in the one screw over here little stainless steel screw and that's what holds this guy in and keeps him from coming loose. I have seen these come loose and what you'll find is that this part is pressed in too much because it's been knocked or something and it's over the lip of the blower and then it's rubbing against the um, against the Spectra dome so much so that uh, in fact it can prevent it from moving. Sometimes you'll see there's like a thin line around the head of these things and it can be enough to stop it from uh, 
being able to turn. I did have that problem once. Okay, so that's pretty much it. As I said, it goes into heater control. You can see it kind of over here. Now, since I do not have that uh, little two-pin connector, I'll have to find one in my spare parts. If not, you can uh, you probably just cut that off and solder right on to the pins, a little heat shrink tubing, and you're good. Or take that connector right off and uh, solder right into the board. But uh, that's pretty much it. The actual thermostat itself, I believe, is in here. The blower runs continuously, 24/7, and the heater only kicks on when uh, when the temperature drops down below a certain temperature. And then, of course, you're probably going to want to power it up, test it, maybe stick it in the freezer and see if you can trigger the thermostat, see if it comes on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Pop it back in the housing and you're good to go.